Einstein showed that if you watch me as I'm walking, you will say that time elapses more slowly on my watch than it does on your watch. Time slows for an object in motion. Now that blows your mind because it's so counterintuitive. You've never experienced that. And the reason simply is that you've never experienced speeds near the speed of light where these effects become big and obvious. So the question is, for us lowly human beings that don't travel near the speed of light, is there a mental mnemonic, some sort of intuitive way of thinking about why it is that time slows down when an object is in motion? And there is. And it makes use of a little metaphor that at first sight has nothing to do with time or any of these ideas. Just imagine that we have, say, an SUV, and that SUV is traveling at 100 kilometers per hour purely in the northward direction. Then we imagine changing the situation slightly by having that same SUV also going 100 kilometers per hour, but now in a northeasterly direction. And the point I want you to grasp is a simple one, which is simply this. Because part of the car's motion has now been diverted from north to east, its speed in the northward direction has slowed down and therefore it hasn't traveled as far north as this car. And indeed, if we consider a car that's traveling even more toward the east, it's diverting even more of its original motion toward the north into eastward motion, so it travels even less distance in the northward direction compared to the car that's moving purely toward the north. Simple idea, why is it relevant? Well, this notion actually has a version that applies to time. And here's how it goes. You'll see it sounds very similar. Right now, I'm standing still, and you say I'm not moving. But if you really think in space-time terms, you realize I am moving through time, right? My watch, if I had one, is ticking second after second after second, making me move through time. All of my motion, therefore, is purely in the time direction. Now, if I start to walk, Einstein showed that my motion through space diverts some of my previous motion through time into that motion through space, and therefore my motion through time slows down, just like the motion toward the north of these cars slows down too, because that motion has been diverted into a different direction. In this case, it's diverting a spatial motion in one direction to a spatial motion in another direction. In the interesting relativistic case, it's my motion through time that's now being diverted into motion through space, so my motion through time slows down. And that's an intuitive way of understanding why it is that when an object is in motion, time for it compared to you will elapse more slowly.